Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek reacts back at it again, and you read right, Regine Velasquez. I'm looking forward to this reaction made possible by Patreon subscribers. Just check it out, and that's what I'm going to do with the song title "What Kind of Fool Am I?" Live, guys. I don't know anything about the singer. Um, I've never seen this before. I'm looking forward to this reaction. It says it's a must see, so this is probably going to be really grand. Um, taking place in 2006 live, guys. So. Let's see what she's got for me. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I'd love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also, take a moment to follow me and like me, both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you're about to watch all the more possible. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go. So into it. Oh. She's so into this. She's so into this performance. My god, like it's actually truly happening to her. Oh my god, she's so sad. Um, love this piano um highlighting her her trembling voice in a very soft spoken manner. Um almost like she's conversating and 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 pouring out, pouring out what she's going through. I don't even, I have no idea what this song is about, and I already have um, somewhat of an understanding of what she's trying to do because uh, because how she, she's conveying this with so much, so much of that honesty. Oof, my God. Love, love, love what's going on here with instrumentation. There's a conductor too back there, so there's some stuff going on uh, in, terms of, in terms of instrumentation. What kind of mind is this? An empty shell, a lonely cell in which. Oh, my God. An empty heart oh. must do it. It's it's so hard to I mean how do how do you how can you describe this because this is so real it's so real when when someone is able to to touch you in such a way vocally um, she's got that she's got that gift and I think it's because it's that realness like I and I explained earlier you know just a moment ago how she's able to convey her emotions and and do it in such a way she's got an incredible lower register she's got an incredible lower register she's got so much you can tell you can tell she's got a lot of range because everything is just simmering simmering um in such in, in, a, in a very light fashion with the with the piano and and this and this beautiful you know orchestra in the back that and she's on the floor so She's already setting the stage for uh, for for something so um, you know, so, so emotional, so elegant, and 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 this is what we're witnessing now. We're witnessing that, you know, this this true. Uh, it's it's almost like a visual experience, but 
it's an emotional one at the same time. I don't know. I can't really explain it. I can't really explain it. Oof. God. Oh my god, this is incredible. This is incredible. Look at all this height that's happening. All this height that is happening. These dramatics that are happening. Um, letting everything just simmer with all the strings and the, and, the, and, the, and the piano and then all the keys. And she's creating all these dramatics, um, you know, there on the floor as she's singing and just becoming one with the lyrics. And then she's delivering this. Um, and and I, I can't explain it. I'm going to rewind a little bit so you guys can see this. Again, because this is truly something else. My God, I'm tearing up here. My God, she was she was on her freaking knees and she was singing like that. She was on her freaking knees and singing like that, belting out those those notes. Are you kidding me? Truly, the greatest performance that I've seen in a long time, <laughs> with so many different emotions and so many different things at the same time. What a total mess! Total mess. So where do I begin? Where do I begin with this? Um, let me come back. And I'll resume. Okay, guys. So, um, where do we start? The lyrics themselves are 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 emotional already. Um, how she delivers them, how she executes it—that's another side of the story. And the way she goes about it, and how she's on the floor, and <coughs> the dramatics and and theatrics that are played played in this part. It makes it makes the song that much grander. But then what ha what happens is that you get the elevation from the orchestra, the piano, all all those all those and instrumentation. And then herself is well, what happens is that she is she has this amount incredible amount of power and voice that comes out. Um, and you knew you knew it was gonna happen. You knew it was gonna you knew it was just gonna come out. You knew it was gonna happen because she's withholding that. She's withholding that. She's telling a story. She's becoming the story. 
much like the Mosh does, much like the Mosh does. But she's this this amount of projection and this credit amount of range this woman has is unbelievable. I'm gonna definitely do more of her, and I have to. I most definitely have to. Um, so who is she? Regina Encarnacion, a song Velasquez, um, Filipina singer, actor, record producer, actor. God, 1984, uh, after winning uh, in 1984, um, Ana Bangang Campion and 1989 Asia Pacific Singing Contest. Velasco signed with Octo Arts International under the same, under the name, uh, Shana, 1986, released the single Love Me Again, which was commercially unsuccessful after adopting the stage name Regina Velasquez, signed a recording contract with your records in 1987 and then re-released didn't release. Uh, just give me a minute, guys, because I'm still trying to... <laughs> this, was, this was not an easy one. This was not an easy reaction. Um, a debut album, Kung Malbec Kokong, and she sold over 7 million records domestically, further a million in Asia. Velasquez is the best-selling uh, music artist of all time in the Philippines. So there you have it. I mean, God. Um, she started singing at the age of six. She went under, uh, she underwent intensive vocal training with her father, um, who immersed her neck deep in seawater and had her go through vocal runs. She uh, credits the unfortunate, uh, the unor unorthodox method for strengthening her core and stomach muscles and developed her lung capacity. Velasquez was placed third um, in her first singing competition, uh, Betty Mendez Libico's uh, Tita Betty's Children's Show. <laughs> My God, this woman's incredible. She's a force, force to be reckoned with. Inspiration, uh, her Velasquez music influences such as artists as Sheena Easton, Angela Bofill, um, Whitney Houston, and Mariah Carey in her early years. She admires Houston for her style and R&B influence, which is impre which and is also impressed by Carey's songwriting. On several occasions, Velasquez has cited Barbara Streisand as the main influence of music inspiration. Just looking at this performance and the way she was singing, I can get some Barbara vibes. Can get some Barbara vibes, um, especially with uh, the acting part. Maybe, maybe the acting and and how how it's how it's how it's communicated with 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 the listener. God, this woman. I have to see this thing again. Um, hopefully, I have a box of dishes with me on the on the side here. Oh my God. Um, I, I look up to Streisand, not just because of her enormous talent, but because of her fearlessness and dedication to excellence, her willingness to take risks and be different. Oof, love that. Perfect. Um, unbelievable. So so th this is what you have. You have such a remarkable woman with so much power, so much power, vocal power, and she delivers it, and she just... She's just, she, she, she's just, I mean, what, how can you say it? How you can say it? She's, she becomes a song. She, she lyrically, you know, transports you to what she feels and how, and how it is. It, it almost, it, you know what it almost seemed like in the beginning? Kind of like a, um, like a Disney thing going on. Like for some reason. Like, you know, like, you know, when they're storytelling and they're singing, you know, like one of those princesses or just like, they're in such a, uh, you know, and I have to. You know, convey this thing, but then things start becoming they shift, become more serious, especially when you get that height from the orchestra, and um, you know the piano and all that stuff. So there you have it, guys. I want to see more. I'm in love now. I gotta see more. Until next time, for more videos like these, please leave your comments, suggestions down below. We'd we'll love to hear what we have to say. Take care. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And guys, yes, I have a Patreon link. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just saw all the more possible. Alright guys, take care. Love you guys. Peace.